This article is coming from Yahoo Finance, billionaire Bill Ackman, hedge fund, unveils a new alphabet stake worth over one billion. In a nod to the company's AI push, you can see all these billionaires jumping into um, the AI stocks and it's what has been rallying the broader markets this year. All right. Uh, so billionaire investor Bill Ackman's hedge fund revealed this newly bought Apple shares worth one billion. Um, that's equivalent to an additional ten million dollars or ten million shares. Uh, he bought two different um, um, class shares: uh, two point two million class A, eight point one million class C. Uh, the big bet on Alphabet comes as the internet giant joins 2023's AI boom, triggered by the, the debut of Apple's AI ChatGPT. So what are the billionaires buying? Um, you don't hear too many buying Google. Um, you hear many buying NVIDIA, uh, Microsoft, and other um, adjacent uh, derivatives off of the AI um, theme. Um, just last week, uh, Alphabet made several AI announcements as a developer conference that helped add $131 billion to the company's uh, market value. Alphabet Class A shares are up 30% so far this year. So this is important to note when we go to the charts. Now, um, early this, this year, Google um, unveiled their um, ChatGPT um, rivalry, Bard. It, it was a debacle. Um, the stock sold off. Um, it was selling at a cheaper level, um, price level, and then stock surged. And then on this news, um, you know, price is just taking off. All right, so let's hear what uh, Alphabet CEO um, Pachai said at the conference. Uh, with generative AI, we are taking the next steps with a bold and uh, responsible approach. We are reimagining all our core products, including search. Now, um, you can use um, BARD. Uh, on the internet, which is very different from, uh, I guess, the older versions of, of ChatGPT, which is only looks at data going back as far as uh, 2001. Uh, there are plugins that you can use, but um, Google's uh, ChatGPT rival uh, uses uh, real-time information from the internet today. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Gives you several different versions. Uh, of what the search finds, um, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now, what this is the most important um, thing that I found. Uh, the proof is always in the pudding, right? So all you hear is about uh, ChatGPT. You don't really hear about Google Bard, right? But I found this article. This is uh, coming from uh, Search Engine Land. This is very revealing. Uh, despite having gotten the jump on Google when it launched the new Bing featuring its own g generative search engine uh, search experience fueled by chat GP, uh, GPT-4 data shows Microsoft has failed to gain market share. It was encouraging to see Bing making some small gains but we later learned the new Bing attracted new edge users who then used Google search and now that Google has unveiled its search uh, generative experience Bing has lost its first mover advantage and seems we we won't see a true search competitor anytime soon. All right. Now, if you look at the desktop search engine market share worldwide, this is Google at 87% and this is Microsoft at 7%. But it gets even deeper than that. Bing's market share peaked last year in 2022 at 9.9%. And the 7.1 figure is actually lower than April's 2022 at 8%. All right. This is just showing that um, it took uh, Bing um, eight years in terms of the, the desktop market share to go from 4.5% to 7%. All right. Here's something else that's pretty uh, interesting. The picture gets even bleaker for Microsoft Bing when you look at the search engine market share worldwide across all devices. Uh, while Bing is just at 2.79%, Google is at 92.6%. All right, so I think that's really revealing. Um, when we go to the chart of Google, we're going to go right to the daily chart. And uh, uh, like I said, this is, was the time when uh, this is February. 
when Google uh, unveiled their bar demonstration. That was a debacle. Price fell. Uh, this was a screaming buy at 91.50, as the uh, price to sales ratio was at a like a five-year uh, low. Uh, we did have some consolidation uh, in April, and uh, this was on the conference call. Um, price gapped higher into the daily sellers at 115 and but the momentum um, was too great price continues to move higher it's now at 122 uh, if we scroll back to the uh, weekly chart um, you have support which serve as resistance so um, there's no reason why price can't move another couple of dollars higher um, before a pause um, I like round hole numbers so um, although I would say no we just keep it at 128 you know that's your next target that's about um, five dollars higher um, so yeah very interesting that um, we we finally see at least one uh, billionaire um, announcing that they're getting into Google and I'm sure others have as well it just hasn't been uh, public information thanks for watching subscribe please like the video